so we're all talking about the Niners and the Eagles as the um, contenders in the NFC. Right. Is there going to be a team that sneaks up on those two next year? Is there a dark horse third contender in the NFC? I don't believe in Dallas. I don't believe Me in neither. Jones. I don't believe Me neither. in Kid. I don't believe in Mike McCarthy. Now McCarthy's calling plays. I don't, I don't believe, believe in Dak. Dak Prescott. I don't no. believe in Dallas. So I'll put a Me line too. through Dallas. I'm with you. I think Dable and the Giants are probably that third team. Interesting. Uh, because I do believe in Dable, and I do believe in uh, the Giants seem like they're kind of on an uptick here. So I think they are they look like they're building something. Washington's yeah. a circus. Vikings, no. Lions still have golf. Green Rogers Bay, no. is probably going to leave Green Bay. The Bears are two years away from being two years away. Bucks with Jimmy. <laughs> Which I is guess. too bad, man. I feel like I J- Justin Fields, if you put him on – Philly would be good, but God, there, there's no team there. Okay, keep going. There's no time. There's no Jimmy's team. going to be in Tampa, so I think Tampa with Jimmy will will. Um, is that your hot? Is that your prediction? Yeah, I think I think Tampa. I think Tampa. God, that makes a lot going, of sense. Because they're going, going to try to nowhere. You know why? Because they're going to try to win and and like develop their roster at the same sure. time. So they're going to go Jimmy. Can't wait um, for Mike Evans to have to say something publicly about Jimmy Garoppolo. It could be um, Atlanta if Lamar goes there. And there's a lot of talk that Lamar may go to Atlanta. Uh, I think this is going to be the division with all the new quarterbacks. So I think Jimmy's with the mm. Bucks. I think Carr, Derek Carr's with the Saints. I think Lamar is going to be with the Falcons. I don't know who's going to be in Carolina. Might be, it might be a, you know, draft. I, I still don't feel like there's a contender in that division, though. I mean, let's say Lamar Arizona. goes. Arizona. Arizona's going to be a tire fire. Kyler's probably going to be out all of next year. Uh, see, you know, Seattle's interesting. The Rams have cap problems. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I would say it's the New York Giants. It's the New York. I mean, Giants. Seattle. We'll see what Seattle does in the draft. If if it's just Geno Smith and that's it, I'm not really concerned about them. But if they draft, if they get someone, some quarterback that they can, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. Any quarterbacks? You? How do you feel about Anthony Richardson? Is he gonna well, be a, one of the greatest quarterback athletes. athletes I've ever seen in my life? Athletes. He's 6'3", he's 235, he throws okay. well, he runs like a star running back. Um, and so my and question is, is, is he a good enough runner that you could take him in round one, like just based yep. off rushing production? Yep. Yes. He's yeah. freaky. Here's the thing, though. Like, he might, he he might go again. 10. He might go 10th. He might, yeah. Some people might see him as the next Mahomes. Oh. He throws well. well, and he he doesn't have Mahomes' arm, but he's got he's a way better runner than Mahomes. I'm talking about a dynamic yeah. runner. Yeah, he is a dynamic pounds. runner. I just feel like again, you're not gonna beat Mahomes running the ball. You're just not. You know, although Jalen Hurts had three rushing touchdowns, he well, was here, great, but he made some okay, big well, throws. Here's the thing, though. I yeah. do think the best way to beat Mahomes is to dominate the time of possession, and Philly did that in this. Philly game. did. Philly they still did. didn't do it. Still didn't they finish still, it. They they still scored 38. They score so fast. Even if you dominate time of possession, they score so fast. We can't. It's crazy, man. Trying to figure out how to beat them is. <laughs> I think the two things that have to be learned from this game are copy the copy the rugby scrum. Yeah. Go for it more on fourth down. Yeah. Especially in the positive side of the field. Yep. Um, and definitely, like, let's say from from your own forty yard line to their goal line, go for it on fourth down. You know, yeah. if you don't want to go for it inside the 30, that's one thing. Please. But you get out to the 40 yard yeah. line, go for it. Stop no more at, mid, stop no more midfield punting yeah. on fourth and two. Thank you. Adjust when you do to, that to the when analyst. you do that, you're asking your defense to win the game. You're not gonna you gotta win. Take it with your offense. Be aggressive. You've got too much money spent on your offense to just put it all on your defense. Thank you. And all the rules favor the offense. It's not nineteen ninety seven anymore, Kyle and Mike. 